Harbortown residents are gearing up for another flood. After record rainfall the past two days, the river will continue to rise. Brett Martin, University of Memphis Insight News. The Bill Street Landing Project is underway. The plan is to connect the cobblestone landing to Tom Lee Park. There's no expected completion date, but their goal is spring of 2013. NBA players are not the only ones going back to work this holiday season. FedEx former employees will begin drawing paychecks December 9th after missing almost a month of pay. Brett Martin, University of Memphis Insight News. How safe are the railroad tracks in some backyards throughout the city? Safety is what the Norfolk Southern Corporation prides itself on for the past 22 years. Maybe in the train yards like the one along Southern Avenue, but along the 25 mile stretch of rail in Shelby County, safety has been a question over the past month. Dozens of trains travel these busy set of tracks on a daily basis, but just this past Monday, one man lost his life, leaving a sense of silence in the air. Witnesses say that when the train came to a screeching halt at the intersection of Colonial and Poplar Avenue, there was an image hard to erase. Uh, we, we didn't run. I mean, we just want to check and see, make sure people called the ambulance right. and everything. We knew something happened. We just wanted to see what was going on. And uh, I didn't get too close because I didn't want to. It was pretty bad looking. Right. And uh, he was just laying right up under the uh, train, literally in between the tracks. It was, it's amazing that he survived for as long as he did. This occurred just weeks after a young boy almost lost his life on the same busy set of tracks just miles down the road making this a concern for others. If someone wants to do something like that, you're not going to be able to stop them. And uh, I mean, if they put a fence up here, I'm not going to be able to get my truck anymore. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's sad that it happened, but, but there's really you know, no, it's nothing, no you're not going to stop somebody that's going to want to do something like that. One thing is for certain that if nothing is done soon, safety could continue to be an issue along these railroads. For those near busy streets and neighborhoods, they must keep an open eye. Brett Martin, East Memphis Insight News. One Memphis community is getting geared up for a makeover. Redevelopment plans for historic Overton Square were presented at a public meeting by Low Properties. Hundreds gathered at the Playhouse to see what the future may hold. African Americans and white citizens all coming out of this, this uh, parking garage together and mingling and then going to Playhouse and coming to Circuit and going to Hattie Lou. Many buildings in Overton Square sit empty like world famous Paul Lutz and local bar Yosemite Sam's. However, Bob Loeb and company have bright plans for the future. The mayor has been very helpful. We have uh, really enjoyed working with the city and, and uh, we're um, looking forward to seeing how this thing unfolds. With those plans intact, the goal is to boost the area. Can you imagine seeing a parking garage like this one in Overton Square? Redevelopment plans have a three-story parking lot located near Union and Poplar Avenue, giving commuters a better access to the area. Construction will begin January of 2012 and will include a three-story parking garage and another playhouse. Questions about finances, plans, and benefits were answered by several different people from the area, with hopes to make Overton Square the new home of the Theater Arts District in Memphis. Reporting in Midtown Memphis, Brett Martin, Insight News. Gas prices are on the rise once again. With Thanksgiving and the holidays right around the corner, some fuel companies look to beef up their earnings, forcing many to find ways to save. It hasn't affected our travel plans, but we have switched cars and downsized our cars. Prices climb as traveling begins to increase after a slow decrease in fuel costs over the past month. In the gas prices this week. No, they say it went down, which I actually end up buying the higher price, the 89 gas, which I never do normally, but since it's gone down a little bit, I've bumped up the octane grade. You know? With the work week ending early, people begin to fill up their tanks to prepare for the holiday weekend. While highways all around the country draw in more people this time of year, gas companies look to increase their profits. According to statistics, the busiest day for travelers are the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Monday following the holiday. You can guarantee yourself that these pumps will be rolling. Travelers will have a break after Thanksgiving, but prices will rise once again before Christmas, forcing some to stay at home this holiday season. Or you just... Family's coming to my house. Reporting from East Memphis, Brett Martin, Insight News.